pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive rec record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. That done, we'll call ourselves to order, call the meeting to order at 5.34 p.m. and do a roll call. Doug? Here. Hallie? Here. Dylan? Here. Gaston? Here. All right. Uh, next up is public comment. If there is anyone here for general public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda, and please hit the um, the right hand, the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. I don't see anyone. Do we have anyone? We don't have anyone here. Okay. All right. So on to licenses, and we are in annual liquor license renewal season license renewal season in general. So what's, okay, so it's just all annual liquor licenses this time. Um, Steve, are there anything, any of these who, with like paperwork outstanding? Um, nope, so so I am still um, working through and processing everything coming in. So I've been prioritizing the liquor licenses and this is the vast majority of them. All of these have nothing weird going on, all paperwork's in. Um, okay. They're open. Um, okay. Everything straightforward. So um, we'll get these out of the way. And then next time we will get um, everything else, the common VIX and any remaining uh, liquor licenses and um, auto dealers and so forth. Okay. So, uh, yes, Doug. I make a motion to approve the uh, licenses as shown on the agenda for uh, December 14th, 2023. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Doug. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero, and then the licenses are renewed. Great. Um, on to discussion topics. So discussion topic A, marijuana regulation. Uh, did Steve, have you heard back from town council yet? So I have not yet. I sent um, two inquiries at the same time, which was about the common Vixlords licenses and whether we can get rid of them and also the uh, marijuana. Um, I think okay. they're putting them up because Brian Riley is the liquor, liquor, liquor law expert and the marijuana went to somebody else. And um, I have not heard back from marijuana yet. I did hear back from Brian on um, common Vix and he said that he believes just due to how the law is written and some of the other um, unintended externalities, it probably wouldn't be possible to to get rid of them and not okay. cause trouble for um, for business owners. So um, I can forward that email along to you, but I have not heard back yet about liquor, or, I'm sorry, marijuana. Okay, great. So we're just waiting for that before we can move on to the next step. Um, any questions about this or the process? Nope, okay. Um, B, discussion topic B, lunch carts and food trucks on Trey's, Prey Street. How was the last weekend? Yes, from what I heard, um, it went well, no problems. Um, so I will be um, double checking with staff as to how that uh, how um, that may be brought forward to the to the town council if the board is um, still in support of that idea of making it more permanent. But um, I think it ended off the season strong, and there wasn't any uh, any problems really with with um, disorder or uh, chaos or traffic incidents or anything like that. So I think it, it was a successful uh, experiment for the season. Great, good. So perhaps we can do it again in the spring or make it more permanent. Um, okay, if there are no questions on that, mm -hmm. on to C, Savannah's Amherst Burger Company closures. So I have received um, transfer applications for both of those licenses. Um, so those applications are moving quickly and they will be um, on the agenda for the 28th. Fantastic. Well, that's good news. Great. Um, any questions about that one? Just out of curiosity, you said it was out of town. 
owner? Oh yeah. Are they are they in Western Mass or do they have experience in the Valley at all? The both the owners are um, LLCs. Um, that are, you know, kind of founded for each restaurant. Um, but my understanding is, is that the, the group that is behind it um, has experience on the South Shore and the Cape, but not so much in Western Mass is my understanding. So okay. just, just curious, that's all. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, D, APD update on liquor law enforcement. And Steve, you sent around the response from, Cap is it Captain Ting? Uh, Captain Ting, interim Captain chief. Ting. Interim chief, yeah. Captain Ting. Yep. Okay. Um, so he he uh kind of gave an overview on uh what their enforcement priorities are and um how they do that and um I did pass along that individual complaint to him, um, so I hope that is a bit more illuminating on, on the things they do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, should I just mention? I don't know if this is related, but I was poking around on the ABCC website last week and they do do um i think they have operation safe campus in the fall which runs from september 1st until halloween october 31st where they make a concerted effort and they send i don't know what they're called agents into the field to check ids and uh, make sure that everyone is compliant so um i didn't they, apparently they do one around christmas too i don't know if it's worth I don't know if the police, I don't know if police are aware of that or if it's worth letting license holders know that this is a seasonal thing. Um, something we can talk about at another time. So, all right, any questions about this one? Nope, okay, on to our last discussion topic, upcoming meetings and agendas. So our next meeting is December 28th and we have the rest of the licenses um steve and i guess we'll do marijuana regulation update uh not do lunch carts and food trucks until the spring and uh what else rental regulation regulation should we put that back on depending on how it goes i will uh, there will be those two new applications as well oh right okay and the two new applications all right any other um discussion topics for the next meeting or i'm sure there'll be yes sorry go ahead dylan i was gonna say uh steve uh in march the remote provision expires am i right about that oh i uh actually um don't know off the top of my head that 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 would make sense <clears throat> and um i guess the question here too is uh what, what are people's feelings on remote versus in-person meetings as we, we get further from the, the pandemic, assuming we have some option in, in the matter? Is that something we want to start thinking about? Um, not that we have to, you know, land on anything now, but. I don't know. Either one is fine. At remote is easy. It's more convenient. For me. It's definitely more convenient for me, but yeah. I'd be happy to do some version of a hybrid, like once a month in person. I think remote for restaurant owners is probably a little easier if they're coming rather than having to leave and come in, they can just go to an office and Zoom. Do we have leeway at this point to to schedule one in person for a change of pace? Uh, I don't know, Steve. Can we do that? Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing stopping you. No, you can certainly. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe uh, we can find one that's convenient for everyone, just so we see each other in the flesh. Yeah, <laughs> once, <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. three years in, I don't think I've seen Marion in person. Yeah, that is funny. I don't think so. You I think you tried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Doug, go ahead. So I, I saw Dylan in person at the gym <laughs> last night. Yeah. Yeah. I, wasn't last night. I was just visiting somebody. But anyway, it's a whole separate thing. I just looked it up. Uh, actually, the extension of the uh, remote meeting option is till March of 2025. Wow. Oh. year to, you know, figure this out. But no, no opposition on my part I'm in person. We, you, you know, know, it might be a while, but I could see the benefit of formalizing and doing an in-person when we vote for our chair and co-chairs 
mm -hmm. beginning of a term. Yeah. Yeah. But no sooner than that I mean, too, Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, bring, I'll bring treats too. But. I'd, I'd be happy to like see if there's one in January that we think is convenient for people. The 28th, I, I think I'm I'm going to be in Boston actually. So that's yeah, that I, work for me. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do the 28th either. Um, yeah, we could do January sometime. Um, what have we got coming up? So the 28th, the 11th. Oh no, are we, we're doing the first and the third Thursday, right, Steve? So the fourth and the 18th. Well, we we certainly could move that around, um, or we could do February. Well, and the fourth is good for me because I haven't started teaching, um, but I is don't that, know if that's if that's a good in terms of the flow of things. We'll just have met. Yeah, and Steve, how does yeah. that work for for you too? Because you're you're a part of this. <laughs> I appreciate that, Hallie. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can certainly make it work. Um, I guess in terms of meeting dates, um. You know, we are going to be meeting the 28th so that we don't, we, even though we do normally do the first and third, we could, um, we don't have to have to meet in the fourth. I don't know if there's anything that will be coming right down the pipe um, then. And I certainly won't really have any time to work on the, the, our um, more uh, discussion items type things right, right at the turn of the year. So okay. we push that back a week or, or if you want to meet, we could certainly do that. Um, I can certainly could, make the meeting work. We could put it back a we week. There are stragglers coming in like the 11th would that be fine the 11th and the 25th the second and fourth how does that we're, we're gonna like then be right up against the first the next month i wonder if we get get away with just yeah. one meeting in january that could work probably the, yeah. 18th, the 18th right in the middle and then january 18th and then that puts us to February, February 1st and 15th. And then, you know, if there's ever an emergency or right, can usually find consensus on a time. Just so I'm getting it right. Are we thinking January 18th, 530 in person? Do we like that? That works for me. Works yeah. for me. Yeah, sure. Kick off the new year right. Right. Okay. okay. Well, that's exciting. Doug, can you make that one? Yep. Yep. Okay. Super. Well, that'll be fun. Okay. All right. Um, great. So, all right. So we will meet again in January 18th. Um, anything else to add to upcoming meetings or agendas? Nope. All right. Five topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Any topics? I don't have anything. No, I don't have anything. Well, that was fast. Um, we're ready to adjourn. So is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, Dylan. Uh, we'll take a vote. Doug? Aye. Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. We're adjourned at 547. Um, happy, have a good holiday season, everybody. You too. And see you on the 18th. Uh, the 28th, 28th and the 18th. Oh, the 28th, 28th right. on Zoom. Gosh, see you on and, the 28th, yeah. sorry. We'll smell yeah. you on the 18th. <laughs> if there's a quorum on the 28th, I may bow out. Okay. I'll be melakaliki mocking in the time zone <laughs> always. Okay, <laughs> a little tricky. <laughs> so. I'll be there, I got you covered. All right, All right I'll be there. Okay, well. Have a great trip, Hallie. See you on Thank the 28th. You. Yeah, have a good trip. Okay. Great. Okay. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Everybody. Great.